We will be here forever. Do you understand? Forever. Forever and ever and ever and ever. Yo, yo, we back, man. Welcome back to the Good Hennessy Show. We got the homie Sonny in the building. Um, yes, sir. For the, for the third and last time, this y'all last chance in this episode to win some tickets. We got these tickets for y'all. Two tickets to the Hawks game. Um, Orlando Magic, February 27th. 27, man. Hey, all you got to do is follow that social media, I can't really hear myself in these these headphones either, man. Oh, I can hear myself, myself good, up, man. man. I'm trying to hear myself. Yeah, I can't really hear myself. I don't know what's going on. I can hear everything fine, man. It's cool though. Yo, yeah, yeah. what's my what's my man that just got that just got busted for lying on the news? Brian. Miller. Brian Williams. Brian Wood. My name's Sonny Williams, and if you get these free <laughs> tickets, I'll be starring in Atlanta Hawk. I was out of Hawk, yo. My <laughs> man, yo, yo. Yo, Yo, have you that's seen the my memes? Man. Have you seen I, the memes though? Like I like watching him on the news. I was so like crippled, but you can't blame him. You know what I mean? He I just, mean he's trying to get them ratings and and it, yeah. ratings. I mean you know the. I mean he's just doing what his job been telling him yeah. to do is lie. He exactly. Just, he just wanted some of the lie excitement himself. Yeah. Uh, he I was at the chopper that got hit. I almost got shot. Yeah, yeah. I was crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't. I didn't even understand why. It, it's kind of like, dude, it would. And we wouldn't have thought anything less of him if he just would have been like, I wasn't there in the first place. It right. wasn't a big deal, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? For him to try to be in the news directly. He should have just been like, I, I, I got excited. I, I over-exaggerated the situation. Yeah. yeah. Could have yeah. got away with it. I mean, you know, we, we do, you know. Right. People yeah, do that every day, man. Yo, we was in the VIP. Jada Kiss was what I was. It was crazy. <laughs> And, and Technically, Jada Kiss was like on the other side other of the side. club. Exactly. You know I mean? Jada so. Kiss was in the other VIP. You just had walked in. <laughs> right. You were sitting on the steps taking a break. You know, your right. feet was hurt. I feel you. <laughs> you found your way in the VIP yeah, where yeah, kissing yeah. them was at. Yeah, right. I feel you, man. I feel you. So, you know, we, we've, been talk- we've, been, <laughs> we've been talking to the homie, Sonny, homie Sonny, man. And, um, bro, you know, we just watched uh, the, the freestyle. Um, I mean it all. Right. Yeah, man. And, and you know. Yeah, you said some stuff in there, man. Yeah, man. Um, um, drop some jewels in there, man. Uh, you know, like I said, um, if it wasn't on the blog, they wouldn't catch the story. Mm. Um, and uh, I remember my man was like, "Yo, I was listening to that freestyle. Yo, when you said that line, like it's real. It like, is, man. I like, even Dateline News looks like a blog. You know what I mean? Like, like, like the real news." Well, it's like no different than like a blog. Right. They yeah. change. They change the culture. And, and, and really, for me, like I run. I run a site. You know what I mean. And and honestly, I'm trying to change the the dynamic of my site to where it doesn't feel like a blog because I really want people to get. You know. Yo, and, and like and like, but hold on, like, like nothing wrong with blogs. No, 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 no. no, no, no. It's nothing, yeah, wrong, nothing with blogs. wrong with it at all. But I think when like like like, like the things that we're talking about tonight, mm-hmm. that's news. You know, I think is I think you know when when that same story is reported on something like Dateline and NBC News is like, come on, y'all can't be talking about the same things that we're talking. About. Exactly. You're exactly. the you're the news. Yeah. You have to have something major, something a else. big story. Your story cannot be how Kanye exactly. almost pulled another Grammy thing. Exactly. That's our news. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's blog news. That's hip hop. That's our news. That's Absolutely. our culture to talk about that. So when I said that line. If it wasn't on the blog, they wouldn't catch a story. I said it because it's like it's almost like the world doesn't care no more. Yeah, mm. they just want they want everybody to get just wants to quick. be entertained with entertainment. Absolutely. So that's Absolutely. so that's why the news is just like a blog. Like you know what I'm saying? Man, you know something? You you saying that man? It really made me think about just the culture of the people right now. Like you got people, and this is a this is a true story, dude. Like I was headed home one day, man, on, on Freedom Parkway, you know, on the bridge coming on, get on 75, 85. And as I'm on Freedom Parkway, we in traffic, so everything moving slow. I seen this lady, literally, I didn't know what was going on with her. She was just like putting on makeup, putting on lipstick, you know, fixing her hair. And I was like, okay, maybe she got a date. Right. So this whole time she was doing all of this. And, and now all of a sudden I started seeing her do this, do this and do that. And I'm like, did she just prep for a selfie? <laughs> like she literally prepped for a selfie in the car and was and was taking multiple pictures. Like, oh, that was not good enough. This was not good enough. And I was no. like, you doing all of that? You almost can cause an accident. And I'm sure her the whole thing was probably like, uh, this traffic just for somebody to like 
your picture. And right. it's like, come on, man. He like, said, I'm sure the whole thing was, she had hashtag, uh, yeah. ATL, hashtag ATL, <laughs> hashtag traffic, <laughs> hashtag, <laughs> hashtag you know, that's selfie. Yeah. And it's like, you're doing all of that just to get a reaction from people. And it's like, man, where have we come to the point where that's, you want to get a like? Um, that's, that's, that, that's, that, that's Total Recall. Like the movie Total Recall, that's that's like that's like the new that's like the new self esteem. Mm. You know what I mean? That's the new that's the new compliment. Like we were saying earlier, we're, we're caught in a society people don't know how to converse. Right. Yeah. So if you physically compliment a woman in today's world, you're thirsty. You're thirsty. Man. But that same woman will will sit in traffic and take thirteen selfies and yeah. post them for somebody to like them. And that's crazy, man. So the same self esteem that she could get in in real life right. she rebukes it because she needs that self-esteem as well to call you thirsty to boost herself up as yeah. well as the 13 likes that she got that right day. that's crazy man and it's, and it's really <laughs> pathetic it is man you know what I'm it saying? is it's, it's it really is. sad because you know stuff like that has such a crucial effect on on our on our on us on us progressing as a community and yeah. as a people like it's just absolutely it's, it's, you know what I mean? absolutely man sometimes right. sometimes it's too Sometimes it's too deep. Sometimes it's too black for BT. Where's the ghost face? Sometimes it's too black. I hear you, I hear you. Ghost face. Shout out, ghost man. So, hey, Hennessy, man, I know you over there. You thinking, man. I can I see mean, it in your face, I, man. You know, I ain't never really had a, had a chance to have a conversation with, with my partner right here, man. I, I kind of want to double back, though. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I want to I get on this. Uh, me and her. And you know her, but right. commenting about it. Shout out to my man her back there in the cut. Shout yeah. out to Noodles, it my down. man Noodles. Six degrees of separation connected in the building. Oh, you know what down. Mean? New York is here. Great. Shout out the Great Landing Team Invasion. <laughs> That's crazy, man. War like small world, small world, small <laughs> world. Though. But you're small talking about world. people that did big things before people thought they was For doing big, big things. things. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. For real, pioneers to what's going on today, Absolutely. man. It's, right. Yeah. What you? What's now, good, Hennessy? Nah, I, hey, I want to. I want to go back to this. 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 This line. I'm still stuck on this Kendrick line. I want to oh, know yeah. what you like really feel about it. Um, for him to say he didn't really wet a tear for Trayvon because every day gang bangers kill each other. That's darker than Trayvon. Something like that, right? Like based. <sighs> yeah, you know, just how we kind of. You know, I mean, make a I, fuss out of certain things, but not other things. I guess, things. I guess, what he's saying is, is, is how, is how real humans should feel. Mm. Like, first of all, we have to take responsibility for what we put out there as a as a community, whether it's the community or hip hop community. Right. We have to take responsibility for that, whether you want to or not. The perception that we created of our own people, of right. our young black men, we have to take responsibility for that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So with that responsibility, you have to accept what comes with it. So if if the perception that the media as well as our own culture puts out there of us, if it creates fear from other people, then you have to also be responsible for what those repercussions are. Mm. You feel me? See, like, you can blame, you can blame them, right? But at the same, see, it's like a double-edged sword, and I'm going to break it down like this. If, if 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 little Bobby, little Bobby is Caucasian, okay, just for mm -hmm. the record, little Bobby's Caucasian. Right. If little Bobby grows up in the suburbs mm -hmm. and, and and he doesn't and he has minimal interaction with the black community that 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 he sees projected on his TV screen throughout the day as he grows up, when little Bobby hits eighteen and he wants to be a police officer and he and, 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 and he's stationed or twenty one whatever and he's stationed somewhere in the city of Atlanta, mm. little Bobby's perception of of young black men is already twisted gotcha. and and it's not that little bobby is is brave he's scared yeah so the, so so the badge and gun gives him a sense of bravery right but when he confronts us in our own community he confronts us out of fear it's not so much as out of respect or anything he's he's scared because yeah. of the perception he's been fed so when you got so, so when you got little Danny, little Danny's black. We're gonna give him a real good political balance name. When you got little Danny, you know what I'm saying? Who who who's influenced by hip hop and he lives hip hop culture innocently. Yeah, right. He doesn't hustle. He doesn't bust guns or none of that. But he lives the culture. The culture comes with a way. Of, culture means way of life. You know what I mean? So hip hop culture is a way of life that we live. So we dress a certain way. We talk. It's our way of life. If the image of our way of life to people who are not interacting with us every day creates a somewhat fear within that individual, 
certain things may happen when those two worlds collide. Oh, gotcha. So so when Zimmerman and Trayvon collide, it's 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 terrified America meets hip hop. Mm. If terrified America plays by the plays by the book, then they have they they're armed with weapons to protect themselves by the law for the terrified. You know what I mean? So that's how those worlds collide. Now in our own world, we give them enough reason to be scared because I mean, man, if you live next door to a family where the brothers killed each other and the sisters fought each other and called each other bitches, and then the brothers called their own sisters hoes and shit, you know what I mean? You would want to move away from them people too. Yeah. And you would come out your doors every day bearing arms to protect yourself against these against a family that literally kills and fights each other every day. So that's what's going on in America. We're the black family that can't even control each other in America. So everything outside of that. Is, is out of fear is protecting themselves against what they've been taught to fear as well as we've been taught to fear ourselves mm. so that's so I think that's what my brother Kendrick is trying to say like damn I can't really cry for Trayvon cause I cause my cause we we help create all that to happen yeah yeah you know what I mean yo if I yo you will not get me to live next door to a bunch of raving rednecks that shoot shotguns all night and fight and drink beer with each other and fight and, and you watch their own brother go to the mm -hmm. hospital and come home the next day. I'm about to move. Yeah. And I'm packing my joint every time I walk out of the crib because they bugging. All right. So that's what so that's so that's what we're dealing with in America right now. I got period. You. Like so you know yeah. what I mean? You have so like, yeah, he told the truth. Like you can't like, yo, you marching for that. You don't even care about Ray Ray killing Pookie though, right. and, that, yeah, and that's right, real. Right, right. Yeah, sure. that's our own self ignorance, my man. But it's also a part of the plan of keeping you know house niggas and field niggas separated and things of that nature. I mean, it's bigger than it's bigger than Nino Brown. Yeah, you no, gotta, I, talk, you gotta talk to Mr. Washington right there. <laughs> you know I hear you, man. You know, right. you brought up some solid points, man, because it's it's that thing where. I was talking to, to to a couple of my homeboys about about this situation, man. Whereas we, as as a community of people, we don't like to accept when we're you know we get we got what we had coming to us. You know what I mean? We man. don't like we don't like to accept that. And, and and I'm gonna say this with a disclaimer, saying that like I don't I I understand, but like single parent homes, right? That's like something that a lot of people in our communities can like. We can we can we can feel that where that's coming from right but a lot of times people don't want to talk about well you with you with somebody that didn't want to be with you in the first place mm -hmm. y'all got pregnant mm -hmm. and he the dude clearly told you i don't want to be with you mm -hmm. right i don't care if you got a kid or not i don't this this is not going to keep me here but you're mad when that guy follow ups on what he said that he was going to do i don't want to be here regardless and it's a dynamic that it's, it's deeper than, than that on surface level. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't want to talk about, well, you shouldn't have been with that dude in the first place. We don't want to, we don't want to go that far back. Or the mother line. You know what I mean? But that's, that's, that's I, the true I, I, I ask myself all the, not to cut you no, off. No, no, you good, you but good. But I see beautiful women all the time. And, you know, I got a couple of homegirls in my lifetime who, you know, I looked at them and said, yo, like, you, like, you, like you, have, you have a lot going for yourself. Why you keep messing with knuckleheads? Yeah. Hmm. Exactly. Like what? I mean, it's like, and, and, and that, and that goes on the whole life aspect of, of our people. Period. Mm -hmm. Like, like, yo, we know better. We don't want to. Some of us just better. don't want to do better. We don't want to do better. You, you know, know what I mean? Right. It, I mean, it's like, like, I, like with sucker free athletics. I, I talk to, um, I talk to people all the time. Yeah, my mother, she passed away from diabetes, and now my doctor saying I'm about to get diabetes. It's just running our family. <laughs> no, yo, diabetes <laughs> is not a hereditary disease that's passed through bloodlines of families. Yeah, y'all are eat. Nobody runs in your family, mm -hmm. and y'all eating bad. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like the doctor could tell us, yo, you about to get diabetes. You gotta lose this much weight. You gotta start eating. Stop eating like this. And we'll still go home and make soul food the next day. Yeah. So even mm. that is the same thing as what you saying. Yo, why did you go mess with that dude? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yo, why did you even open your legs? Yeah. I mean, that, that, you know that's, that's real like, though. Like people don't like, want to talk about it, but it's like, man, you, you know, made like, that choice, and now you're man, you know, like man, to put a little bit of pippin out there for me, <laughs> no man, some real pen talk real quick. I tell them like this, man. Look, man, women. 
men, you know how they be like, man, I hit that. No, you ain't hit that. She hit you. Because at the end of the day, it's up to her to open up them legs and let yeah. you slide up in it. So you never really hitting nothing. You feel what I'm saying? That's true. You make, you That's know true. what I mean? So, so, so for the women that keep trying to say, ah, he ain't shit. No, ma, you know, you should never opened your legs like that. You should have right. kept them things closed a little bit. You know there what you mean? I mean? Should have waited. You know, and, and it's real. Right. Yeah. And and it creates a problem in our community, but. It all goes back to us being responsible for our Absolutely. own, for our own well-being, our own people, man. Absolutely, I agree. With Each one got to teach one, man. Yeah, man. Right. Yeah, bro. Hey, man. Um, I know we got we got to wrap up pretty soon, man. But I, you know, I, I definitely want to make sure that you had the opportunity to really voice what you had to say as far as like you know, sucker free athletics and, and, and the music. Yeah, I appreciate so, that. Yeah, man. So you know, give us, give us, you know, what's what's going on with you in the future? I know you got a project in the works. You know, the emoji um, record. Yep, we got the Emoji record produced by Detroit Knicks and part itself. It features my man Aaron Lamont as well. Um, we got that dropping. Uh, we don't have the official date is supposed to be the seventeenth, but like most hip hop artists, we push things back. So. <laughs> it's all good. It's you know what good. I mean? And um, on top of that, that's coming off the project called Cognac and One Leaves. You okay. know what I mean? So I definitely appreciate this Hennessy tonight because this this all goes with the theme of the music that we make, and our music is inspired okay. off of Cognac and One Leaves. One Leaves being things just like Dutchess without two leaves, maybe a raw cone paper. You know what I mean? Maybe a backwood, things of that nature for the people and all. Gotcha. And um, besides that, um, we run our health and hip hop campaign, which is health. In hip hop, I N, you know what I mean? Just like the way, uh, you know, they try to put the parent plan, parenthood had the whole bogus thing with in control. Well, we're we're putting health in hip hop so we could be in control of our own community. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? I really believe that hip hop has the power. If we got the power to help liquor companies and clothing companies sell billions of dollars and based off of our culture, then we could put that same power in shaping our own community healthier. You know what I mean? So. Look out for the Health and Hip Hop campaign. Look out for Cognac and One Leafs that is slated to drop on April Fool's Day. Um, gotcha, gotcha. And uh, and that's really it, man. I'm just out here trying to make the world sucker free one block at a time. I hear you, man. How can they get that that hoodie though, man? I keep eyeing it, man. I might have to just go on oh, here yeah, and no uh, doubt. make no. that happen. <laughs> that thing fresh though. <laughs> Listen, I be, I be, I be, for, yo, I don't be forgetting, but I'm such a hustler. I got, yeah. like, you know what I mean? I'm. Shout out to my Yardi people, all of my Yardi the people them out there in the West India and thing like that. Now I stand up, you know, I see every real boy because we're not a hustling now. See. So, <laughs> me, I real hustle. Like, so you know what I mean? It's my clothing line, um, Sucker Free Athletics. You could go to you could go to sunisout.com. That's S U N I Z O U T dot com. Sun is you could get you could watch the videos, you could download the music, and you could definitely get you some sucker free athletic apparel. Only thing about buying sucker free athletic apparel is that you know we do like to do a background check to make sure you're not no sucker. Gotcha. We don't tolerate no sucker <laughs> shit. There's no suckers allowed, and we don't want no suckers in our clothing. Like you know what I mean? So gotcha, or, gotcha. And that's just real. You know what I mean? So if somebody buys it and you see them wearing it and you know they're a sucker, get our shirt off of that sucker's back, please. Yeah, I hear you, man. I hear you. Trying to see, man, Hennessy, you can check to see um, if we're giving away these. Um, man, these, look at These up. Atlanta Hawk tickets, man. I don't just, think people want to go to um to saying. the Magic game. What's going on? I'm, 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 we, I'm got, gonna... um, we got the <laughs> Hawks versus the Magic, right? Right, right. Atlanta gets about a couple thousand new people that move here every day. Right. So if you will go online, give me the script. How does it go? You can win these. Good. Uh, just just follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, follow Good us Hennessy on show. Instagram, on Twitter, uh, and Twitter. The Jimmy Hennessy Show. Good Hennessy. Good, Good Hennessy, Hennessy show. show. The Good <laughs> Hennessy Show. We've been on Good Hennessy. The Good <laughs> Hennessy Show. Right. If you just move here to Atlanta, Georgia, and you have you a Twitter page, follow the Good Hennessy Show yes, and sir. treat yourself to an, a, a professional basketball game. Do right. it. If you just moved here from a small town that has no more than high school football going on, <laughs> you deserve to take yourself to a Magic and Hawks game. There you go. There you know, you go. I hate I hate to think that y'all sitting back waiting for a, a, a Laker or or a Cavaliers game to go because you know <laughs> you're gonna have to pay. Those and, tickets there are very expensive, and, and, and we just don't have that budget just yet. Now we, you know, we we knew in the game, right, 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 right. Y'all right, can't, right. can't well, jump well, again. Well, though. We're not gonna say these guys don't have the budget. We want to know that the fans appreciate what we bring. There you go. True that. Well, I like how you word True that. that. Right. Yeah. So that. come and get these Clean free that tickets. Up for me. True that. Clean to see that the up. Magic and Hawks play. February 27th. Right. 
at 7.30 p.m. on a Friday, you ain't got no job. You just moved to Atlanta. Right. You just paid first month <laughs> rent. You ain't even been to you ain't even been to rooms to go yet to get your, your <laughs> furniture. You on that you sleeping on that good carpet that Atlanta provides when you oh, move into a new apartment. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Ladies hey, get them tickets. Get these tickets. Get, get them, them tickets, tickets, man. Ladies, get these tickets and go find one of them dudes that got that bread and bring it to the Good Hennessy show. <laughs> right. I want you to get in his pockets now. <laughs> Jeezy be sitting courtside at all the games. I want you to get in his pockets with these free tickets and bring that paper right on over here to Daddy, baby. All right. <laughs> and cool, also, cool, make cool. sure y'all check out uh, sunisout.com, my homeboy website, man. He got right. tons of music on there, videos, and that Black Friday, the freestyle mixtape, man. Y'all definitely got to check that Go out. Go ahead and get that Definitely got to check that out, And man. one more thing out there, hip-hop community, please believe this, man. You know, that, that's, living well, that's living well off the culture. And you know, your kids aren't really put in a position where they have to indulge in what we promote to the kids today through hip hop. Just think that those could be your kids too, man. Mm. For real, man. This, for real. this is hip hop, man. We started this on the corner from nothing. Yeah. Let's remember that. We started this for the youth to enjoy, to teach them, man. Word. My name is Sonny, and this is your public broadcast system on the Good Hennessy Show. I know. That's Word. a perfect way to end it, man. Word. That's a perfect yeah, way to end it. Just give us that. Give us the Twitter, Hennessy. You know, everybody love when you say the Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all gonna get it right this time, man. Y'all follow <laughs> us on that Twitter and that Instagram at Good Hennessy Show. Uh, that's G O O D H E N N E C S H O W, and you're live on. Live Hip Hop Daily dot TV. Boy, I you, got it right. Boy, you that good, time. boy. Six episodes and I finally got it right. <laughs> but it's all good, man. Let me tell you something. Though. It, was, it was a pleasure. I ain't That's even right. really have too much to say because uh, I'm a listener first. I mean, and we definitely got to have my partner back, though. Oh, yeah. I appreciate being oh, yeah. here. But y'all look forward to coming back. I, I, oh, I might yeah. just come back and kick it on the couch. <laughs> Hey. And just just to be in the building to be amongst yeah. good company, man. Right. You here? You welcome I, here anytime I, you want. I, to, bro. I just feel like the conversation the conversation can go a little bit further than what it did today. You yeah. know no what I'm saying? No yeah. doubt. You know, um, hey man, I appreciate y'all having this platform for artists to, to really voice their opinion and, and really and, and really speak about the real. Right. You know Definitely. What I mean? Right. For real. That's no why we're here, man. That's why we're here. So make sure y'all follow us on um, all social media, man. Good Hennessy Show, uh, G O O D H E N N E C. Show S H O W. Follow you can follow me on Twitter at Straight Out the Den. Follow Jimmy Hennessy at Jimmy Hennessy. Yep. Follow Sonny at Sun is Out. S S U N I Z O U T. There you go. Yes, uh, cool, man. Hey, and we uh, you know something? Hold on. Before we go out, man, can you give us a little bit of, of um emoji? A little like, bit of emoji? Yeah. What? Yeah. That's a little bit of um, <laughs> what we how I do it. You wanna spit it? Can you spit it? Do you remember? Man. I know. I know. As artists, sometimes like y'all. Yo, right. Okay. Okay. I, okay. Let me make an admission. Let me make it. I will admit this as an MC. Emojis is really a song. Okay. Word. 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 It's not a song where I could spit a verse because it's gotcha. actually in song format, and I'm proud to say that being an MC, I, it's a song. Okay, kind of feel funny saying it, but it's a no. Nah, we oh, all no, it's all no, good because we no, already know you get busy. Yeah, we we, we, know, <laughs> we already know we already that. know how it is. <laughs> so I tell you what, we will we, we will um but. We'll get that up some kind of way. What are we gonna do? What you got? Huh? What, what you I got? got? You about to say something? They want to cut you off. I mean, you know, um, it's the day at the Sunday. So it's a Monday. I used to get a lot of money on the one way. I lived the reckless life with the gunplay. I made the fiends listen. They did what Sun said. Used to move packs it and all up in the trap. Now I'm sitting in the booth and I'm waiting on the raps and I'm gonna move that and it's bringing money back. At the time I'm at the good Hennessy sipping yak. Uh. And with my man straight out the den, I got a little chaser, but I do it straight on the hand. Uh. I don't ever lose, always for the win. I'm just waiting for the day that my wreck spin. I get the BDS and then we get the checks and then we make it happen with the people win expect and that's a real artist i have be your number one good hennessy show with my name's son peace man, what peace. Up, we out man we out turn it on <laughs> the turn it nicest. on don't say that no <laughs> down we don't out say that